According to latest reports, the S-5 will be India's first lead-class next-generation nuclear ballistic submarine, and it will have a surface displacement of 13,000 tons, which is nearly double the size of the Arahant-class nuclear submarine which is currently in active service in the Indian Navy. There will be a forward hydroplane in the S-5 submarine, which is influenced by the Vanguard-class submarines of the Royal Navy, while a silo hump will also be present, which is influenced by the Delta V-class submarine of Russia. The first S-5 nuclear submarine will start construction in 2022, and it will be ready for induction into Indian Navy by 2030. It will feature a 190 megawatt pressurized water reactor, which is already under research and design, while the RDO has already started work on the K-6 submarine launched ballistic systems, and the S-5 will be equipped with 16 such systems, which will be MERF capable with a range of over 8,000 kilometers. India's BMD program is a two-phase system, and in the phase one the interceptors will fly at a speed of 4.5 Mach to counter hostile systems with a 2000 km strike range, and in the phase two the interceptors will fly at Mach 7 hypersonic speeds to intercept intercontinental ballistic systems with over 5000 km range. A third phase is being planned for the BMD program, which will be rapidly deployable, and will have 100% interception probability against low-flying cruise systems and artillery projectiles. The Deputy Director of Russia's Defense Cooperation Agency has confirmed that India has made advance payment for S-400 air defense systems to Russia, and India will get the delivery of the first batch in 2020, while Russia will complete the order by 2025. India is all set to induct the first batch of Apache helicopters into the Indian Air Force on 3rd September. The first four helicopters have already been handed over to the Indian Air Force on 27 July, while the remaining 14 are expected to be delivered by 2020. The Chinese media has reported that China might buy more Su-35 fighter jets to replace older aircraft, including several hundred Chinese copies of Russian MiG-21. Buying more Su-35 would make the logistical support for the fleet more efficient, as there would be more spare parts and dedicated personnel. The Titiga Wagons Limited has said that it has recently received permission to build ships of certain categories for the Indian Navy, and the firm will now bid for building high-end naval vessels, and the necessary infrastructure to build advanced ships will be procured on getting the orders. The Indian Army is set to deploy its first integrated battle group by the end of this year, and a total of 11 to 13 integrated battle groups will be deployed to protect its western and eastern borders. The Indian Army chief has said that the international border of JNK will see the deployment first.